Following Kenya Pithecus, there came another range of fossils that is the apes that belong to Australopithecus. Australopithecus was considered as one of the most important because this was considered as a connecting link between apes and man. Because there were many characters that were common between the two. These fossils were about 2 to 5 million years ago recorded. That is they were recorded of about 2 to 5 million years ago. Now the characters which prove that Australopithecus was considered as a connecting link between apes and man were the characters of man, erect posture, bipedal locomotion, and Dentition is like that of man. That is, these were the man like characters that were found in the organism or the apes that belong to Australopithecus fossils. Then, the ape like characters that were found within such organism included. The teeth were larger than the modern man. The chin was absent. And the eyebrow ridges were projected over the eyes. Thus, these were the few ape-like characters and man-like characters that were found commonly in such fossils. This is the ape-like organism that gives an example of Australopithecus which possess both man and ape like characters and so it is considered as a connecting link between the two. Following it came another evolution that is Homo erectus. Homo erectus were considered as the erect ape like men and therefore they are termed as erect ape men. They were found to be considered as the descendants of the Australopithecus. They were commonly called Java man because their fossils were collected from Java. Along with this, Homo erectus formed a connective link between Australopithecus and Homo sapiens.
they were found to exist or lived about 5 lakh years ago they were considered as the first true men other such fossils were also collected from peking in china and so such fossils were also termed as peking men and therefore it was due to such reason that peking men and java men were found to be very much similar the main characters that helped in identification of homo erectus were Homo erectus possessed the upright bipedal locomotion. They were considered as slightly taller than Australopithecus. following it they possessed no chin that is chin was absent further they used to fire and variety of tools that is uh, for the preparation of food generally fire was used moreover they were considered as hunters and inhabited caves that is they used to live in caves thus these are all the characters that helped in the identification or differentiated the homo erectus from others this figure depicts the homo erectus ape 